Great. Well, I want to welcome everyone here to our Total Social Media webinar. We're going to have a really great webinar, and today we're going to go over some brand new functionality that we have introduced to our Total Social Media application that involves custom HTML coding. And this particular coding that we have from our site is a brand new enhanced feature, and today I'm going to go over to show you how you access it and how you utilize that particular feature and the power of what you're going to be able to do with this specific feature. So. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started with the overall webinar. If you're actually going to, um, uh, let's pull up a brand new web browser, and you go into mytotalsocialmedia.com, and you go to our main page, you can basically go into general, and you click our Facebook icon, and when you go into that particular page, when you go in here, what you want to do is we're talking about uh, the need for people in the design phase of being able to utilize a custom template that is not a template that is um, part of our template. Maybe it's a multi-menu template that actually works and actually has a menu like a regular website or is a design template that is custom designed. Maybe someone out there um, already designs in HTML and already has the ability to basically go in themselves and already design uh, in HTML and to basically design their own page but they want to basically have more freedom as to the overall design well for the first time for us with our total social media application we're now allowing this custom HTML code to be basically happen for all of our resellers so we're pretty excited so if you basically come in here that you've got and go into our design phase that you've got and go into our welcome tabs when you go into our welcome tabs, you'll go into your design a custom tab. And when you go into here, you're going to basically see it says view all 11. And when I basically click view all, and what I'm going to do now is basically scroll down through all these different designs that you're seeing here. And what you're going to find on number 11, on the very bottom one, this says custom HTML welcome tab. So when you go down here to the welcome tab that you've got, as soon as you click this custom HTML welcome tab, you'll notice that the overall menuing for this particular page is different than it is for your traditional builder page. Um, this gives you the ability and what I'm going to do for this webinar is basically step you through each individual step here like downloading uh, the basic code, pasting custom code, changing your overall template, uploading your images, sharing, resetting, save, and then publishing. A lot of the individual items on here like save and publishing and sharing and resetting um, all of these individual items are are items that you're already used to in the normal builder that we offer through Total Social Media. But what we notice that you have here in the basically the screen here right now is the ability to actually paste in your own custom HTML code. So instead of basically utilizing, and what a lot of people don't know is that when you use our pages that we already basically set up for you, where you already have pictures and you already have video and you already have colors and things set up in the screen that is an interface that already has those parameters already built into it and yes you can move those parameters around and yes you can change those colors and those definitions and what that will do is actually change this HTML code but again for those people that are a little bit more sophisticated and this being an advanced feature for people if you happen to have some HTML code that you actually want to put in to create your own page you could actually go into an HTML builder and build a page for 810 pixel width wide and create your own page in your own designer, your own WYSIWYG designer. Uh, maybe you have a favorite HTML coder. Maybe it's Coffee Cup or maybe it's uh, another builder. Or I'm not partial to any builders. Maybe you just build a notepad that you've got and, and custom code or C++ or whatever the custom coder happens to be that you've got. There's a lot of um, individual HTML coders that are out there that you uh, might want to build in that you've got from your site. But uh, regardless of that, you can basically take that custom code by clicking the paste custom code button and you can basically take this uh, JavaScript query or your HTML code and can basically paste that code in this overall box. Once you paste your custom code in this overall box, you're going to hit save and close. And once you do that, that's going to basically take that overall code and basically going to change your overall look and feel of the page down below here. Now, what the purpose is for your download basic code box that you've got from your side is the ability that say that you wanted to utilize 
um, and you didn't have that code saved somewhere else and you basically wanted to take this save page because what you're going to do when you're finished is you're going to save this page. Well, maybe you want to pick up from where you left off, so you basically want to download the code and you want to edit that. I can basically download the code that I've got from my side and see how it's downloading it as a text file here on my menu on my screen. I can basically now download this as a text file, take it into my editor that I got from my HTML editor. I can edit it, then repaste it back into the screen here and basically save it uh, and then publish it and then I'm done. Um, it's important to note that um, for all of your images prior to being finished is that you're going to want to make sure that you upload your specific images into the overall file. Now one thing that we have built into this interface and remember that this particular interface is brand new um, for us that's just been loaded and what it allows you to do is actually upload multiple images and instead of loading these images to the server through um, FTP as an example which is like file transfer protocol or a way of transferring images to the to the web server so that when your website comes up it knows what the images are on the screen what we allow you to do is, is don't use those sophisticated programs you basically will just pick the file in your computer and when you save those images it's going to give you uh, the individual link that you're going to be able to copy that link and put that link into your code so that you make, make sure that your uh, file definitions because what you're going to do is inside your HTML code and remember this is an advanced technique that there's going to be a place where you're going to have to tell in your in your code you're going to have to say this is where the image is located and we're going to give you that location right here in the screen as far as where that specific image is located um, it's going to be right there on the overall screen and you're going to basically be able to take that um, from the overall screen be able to paste that in your overall code and then save that and that will make sure that all of your overall images on your overall page come up uh, that you've got and we're actually going to be giving another webinar and basically taking you through building an entire advanced page from the very beginning to the very end I wanted to reserve this webinar for explaining some of the functionality on how from a high level overview and announcing um, this overall new functionality so people could actually get started with it uh, from an advanced technique but that what I'm going to do for a lot of people from a training side is I'm actually going to put together a full webinar and just go through each individual step by step and build a page and show you how to build an entire page and edit each individual code and show you how to do that and where you can basically utilize some of our sample templates and things that we've got and you don't have to be a super coding genius to be able to do that to make a real fantastic template that you've got and make a really nice one and basically be able to save it in this overall interface so we're going to be real excited um, uh, from an overall company. I know a lot of uh, developers and a lot of resellers have been asking for this functionality. And so now we're pleased as an overall company to basically be able to offer this up. Um, you also please look at the um, on the screen here when I clicked on upload images, there, you'll also see the definition to where they have to be a JPEG, um, a BMP, which is a bitmap, or a GIF file. Those are the only file definitions. And then again, you have to uh, make sure that the upload is uh, one megabyte or less uh, that you've got. And you basically can save the overall image that you've got. And when you take the overall upload, that will basically upload that file to our servers that we have. And it will save them on the servers. And as long as you use that code definition in your code that you're pasting on the overall server, it will display this brand new page. And this page will have a complete custom page look. Uh, that you have and it might not follow or look like any of our templates at all because now it's going to be your own template. So this is exciting for a lot of people out there that say I want to create my own templates, I want to create my own look and feel that I have. Now you have the opportunity to come into our arena and to be able to make them and also the ability to be able to share them. So now once you create an overall template and you save an overall template, now you can basically come in here that you've got and you can actually share the overall template. So you can basically um, as a um, reseller you can basically sell these individual templates and pages to your overall clients and then you can share them with them so you could do um, advanced uh, more types of different things within the overall page in some cases than you might do with our standard templates that are out of the box again you can do multi menu templates almost like a, a menu template like on a regular website where you actually go in and click and you actually have action on the overall screen you can do lots of really 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 great things with this overall code uh, that you've got and that's one reason why we're just really really excited to be able to 
again offer up this technology and allow it for people to basically come up and to be able to push this live for everyone so I want to push for everyone that's out there today that's utilizing this technology please work with it that you've got and again if you have uh, any issues or any questions with it you can always uh, email me at ted at socialoutbreak.com or ted at totalsocialmedia.com and you can basically um, uh, let me know if you have any questions that you've got uh, and uh, let me know if there's anything that uh, you might want uh, some help with but again we're gonna have some other uh, webinars that are specifically on building some different templates and walk you through actually building some other examples but today this will give you the overlying basics for those builders that are out there today that want to get started with this um, HTML builder today you can get started tonight I just showed you how to get into it and again I'm excited to be able to uh, show this on our webinar I want to thank everyone for being on the webinar. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to save this webinar and I'll be back for questions in a second here.